All right, so uh, two tips here. Uh, one is I like to kind of bend the hook down because when you pull it, it, it jigs it a little bit more. Um, and uh, you don't have to do that. Another thing is, is when I put these presentation lead eyes on there, I just build a collar that it rests against. That way your, your eyes don't move, they lock them in. I'm gonna work back to the shank of the hook and um, until it's uh, even with the, the barb. That's where I know my uh, tail is. Take some Mason hard mono. Tie this in. This is what I'm going to attach the tail to. Use a Magnum Bunny purple tail. Pretty crucial to get a Magnum purple tail. It's just the best. It has so much movement. One of the big issues with it is it fouling with it being so long. So I go back an inch, put a hole in the tail, and then poke that Mason hard mono through it. So I'm actually threading through the tail and attaching it to both sides of the hook. And uh, you know the normal ones like just below the tail and it just doesn't really work. This one doesn't foul so it does its job. Make sure it's long enough too. About three quarters of an inch back. Put some uh, good bit of purple flash on there. Kind of covers up that weed guard as well. Cut it even with the tail. And you can just leave it messy. Tie in a black fox fur brush. Something that helps me with speed, just leaving the thread back, wrapping forward. That way you don't have to wrap the thread forward. I keep it really thin at first. And then when I get closer to the eyes, I just start stacking it. And uh, you just you just really want to build up you know the head of the fly that's what makes this work you know you have the tail which is just a big bunny strip that moves all over the place and then you have a bulky head that the water moves around and it accelerates the water and pushes the tail back and forth kind of like aggressively I'm going to do one wrap over each dumbbell eye and then take it and do three times there one two three four and just recently started noticing this brush getting kind of thrown to one side or the other. So how I fix that is I trim the bottom. So I'll whip finish it off. four times twice and then I kind of like to comb it out just to see how it's going to lay 
comb out all this bottom hair and trim it. And there's your black and purple. Kind of a new age with the fox fur and the in the tail. You know, black death is very similar to it, so um yeah, it's a it's a it's a great fly at night. And uh, anytime you want a big silhouette in the water, dirty water, tarpon love it. I've seen Snook eat it. Um but there it is. It's actually yeah.